Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. Today we're going to be talking about yet another foundation that is new. And today it is going to be the Chantecaille Future Skin Cushion Foundation. This foundation does not actually come out for its official release in the United States until later, like early spring, maybe January 2021. Um, however, there is one store that is currently selling it, and they have four shades, and that is Bergdorf, Bergdorf Goodman, and it's in New York. You have to call the counter, and yeah, it's not on the website or anything, so they only have four shades available. It is coming out in a more, in a wider release in the spring, so I called the counter. I purchased the foundation, and it just came, so we're going to use this foundation today. When you open it up, you have the foundation, the cushion, and it comes in this packaging just like this. And I got shade Nude, which is the darkest of the four shades. So it comes with a little puff, comes with a really, really nice mirror. I don't want to blind you, but it is a really, really nice mirror. Um, and then you've got the seal here to keep the foundation from drying out and then I actually have opened it I haven't used this but I've opened it so if I hadn't already just opened it you would have this foil seal on it and you break the seal and then there's the foundation so we're gonna play with that today now I'm hoping that this works better for me than the last Chantecaille foundation I reviewed and that is the Chantecaille Future Skin Gel, the oil-free gel foundation. I have used this multiple times since my review, and I still don't, I still don't think it looks right on my skin. It just doesn't apply the way I like it. Um, it takes a lot of work for me to get it to the point where I'm happy with how it looks. But I haven't given up hope. I really do want to like this foundation because. It does have so many great reviews for a more mature skin. So I do want to make it work. So I haven't given up hope yet. But I am hoping that the cushion foundation works a little bit better. Now also inside the box, you're going to get a little pamphlet. And this is going to talk about the philanthropic uh, charity that Chantecaille supports with the sale of this foundation. So they are supporting the Shelter Wildlife Trust and that's in Kenya, and it's for the elephants, and I think that that is amazing. But more importantly, inside this box, you get a second cushion. So you are getting a whole entire another foundation. So this foundation, I think, retails for $125, $128, something like that, maybe $120, I don't know. It's up there in price, but you do get two foundations for the price of one. So I think that that, you know, helps balance out the price. And if you divide that in half, then you're paying about what you'd pay for any other foundation. So the other thing that we are going to be playing with today that I purchased is the HD Perfecting Powder. And this is the box. Here's the packaging. I really, really like the packaging. Like the gunmetal slate, like smoke color. I like it. All right, there's the powder. I will swatch the powder up against the other Chantecaille powder that I have. And then lastly, I picked up the Le Camouflage Stilo. This is their anti fatigue correcting pen. So this is their concealer. It gets really good reviews. I've never tried it, so we are going to play with that today. So, let's get started. I have skincare down. I don't have anything else down. I am going to do one half of the face with the puff that comes with it and the other side with my BK Beauty 101 brush. So, all I'm going to do is just tap the brush into the foundation and get, um, get some foundation on my brush and then blend it in. I can tell you right off the bat, just by this little bit, that 
this foundation is going to have better coverage than the gel. Like I can already, I can already see that. I do think the color is just a little bit light for me, but again, I'm like I said in my last video, uh, for my Gucci foundation review. I'm okay with that because I can build up the color as much as I need it to. And I'm actually using the brush, but kind of like a sponge because I'm patting it into my skin. So this foundation actually came before the Gucci foundation, but I wanted to review the Gucci first. So it was planned for this to go up in place of the Gucci. And then the Gucci showed up on my doorstep and well, I had to review that. All right, so there's the first half with the brush. My, my hair is sticking <laughs> to my face. All right, I will zoom you guys in so you can see. I definitely think that the coverage is better than the original Future Skin. I definitely, I didn't have to build it up as much. And you can tell a difference in my face right away just looking at it, that this side has the foundation on it and this side doesn't. All right, so... The more I look at it, I think the color actually might be a really good color. So we're just going to tap it in and then just apply it to the face. I don't see to me that just seems like so much wasted product that's why I don't I just feel like the coverage is better using the brush than the puff But I did want to show you both and show you how they each apply. I definitely see more coverage on the side with the brush. That's not to say that I can't build this up. And again, I'm not blending, I'm just patting. All right, so I'm gonna bring you guys in and let you see and see if you can tell the difference between the brush and the sponge. So this is the side with the, well, I guess it's not even really like a sponge, it's like a puff. So this is the side with the puff and this is the side with the brush. I'm going to grab my magnifying glass and see. Yeah, I think I personally prefer the side with the brush, but that's not to say someone else looking at me would think the same thing or even notice a different. I mean, I can guarantee thousand percent. If I walked over to my husband and said, which side of my face do you like better? Can you tell a difference? He would say no. He cannot tell a difference. <laughs> I ask him all the time, you know, how's my face look? He's like, it looks the same as yesterday. So, um, so he would not be able to tell. But that's not to say that someone else couldn't see a difference. So, I don't know. They look 
close, but I think I pref still prefer the brush. Now I am going to swatch these two foundations for you and show you. So that is the nude. And then I will swatch the original Future Skin. And this is in shade Cream. And the cushion one dried down pretty quickly. So they are fairly close in shade, like really close. So I mean, I think I did get a good match. What it says about this foundation is it is a fresh water-based skincare foundation formula that blurs in perfection and infuses the skin with ingredients with powerful anti-aging and anti-pollution benefits while leaving it looking flawless. Lightweight and instantly perfecting, this refillable soft cushion makes building coverage beautifully simple. Apply with the puff for a natural fresh finish or apply with your fingers for even more ease. Now I did not apply with my fingers. I typically don't apply foundation with my fingers, but I suppose that is something that I could do. I don't even think it's a contest right now. Like I definitely prefer the cushion over this. Um, after using the cushion, I don't even want this. Like, I don't know. Maybe I'll try and use it again, but that's kind of how I feel. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's going to be such a um, minority opinion because the only reason I bought the foundation is because it got such good reviews. So I don't know. All right, we're going to go in with this concealer. Again, it's the Chantecaille Le Camouflage Stilo. Now, I've attempted to get the product out, but I haven't used it yet. So it has a little brush applicator, which I don't really like, but that's okay. And then you just click it like a pin, and you click it until the product comes out. And the brush started to get a little wider, so I knew that there was product. And so you can see just a little bit of product. So I'm just going to apply it here. And then I will go in with my favorite concealer brush. I want to just feel the formula. I should have done that with my fingers at first because I like to feel the consistency of concealers. It has a nice consistency. It's not overly thick. It's not overly thin. We'll see how it does with what it claims, which is the anti-fatigue corrector pen. It's a skincare infused concealer that helps camouflage the visible signs of fatigue and aging. Well, I got just a little bit of sleep last night, so let's, we're going to put this concealer to the test today. I don't dislike it right off the bat. That's, that I can tell you. It has a nice feel. I think this color is perfect for my skin. So those are all positives. All right, now we're going to go with some powder. Again, this is the Perfecting, HD Perfecting Powder. It looks really bright white, especially when I compare it to the other powder that I have, and this is the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. So those are the two side by side. It's really soft, very translucent. 
like there's no both of these just blend into my skin you can't even see like there's there is no looking so this should blend right down into my skin to apply it I'm going to use my Le Mer powder brush which is what I use almost daily and we'll just swirl it around and apply all right so this went down really nicely I feel like it'll be a really nice setting powder for me and this the blurring powder um, I kind of use I prefer to use it as a finishing powder anyway so it's good that I have both okay I'm going to put on a little bit of bronzer real quick I still don't have a Chantecaille bronzer again I'm just gonna go in with the Sicily Paris um, their bronzing gel powder All right, for highlights, I'm going to use, again, the Lay Palettes, and this is their highlight. So I'm just going to take that real quickly and apply it. All right, now I'm going to go in with blush. All right, and here is the blush. This is in shade Coral. There's also a highlighter there. But like I've said, I just mix the two and then tap it in. Sometimes that coral is really bright, so I definitely tap before I start going in full, full force. All right, so there's the blush, the highlight, and the powder. And now we will finish up with eyes. Okay, for eyes, we're gonna do just a really simple look using these luminescent eyeshades that I have. And I have Crane and Cheetah. So this is basically gonna be the exact same eye look that I did in my last video, but I really, I really like these two shades and I just wanna make a quick, easy look. So I'm just going to apply Crane in my outer corner and my crease. Like and I'm putting it on really quickly because I want to show you just how easy you can do this if you're just trying to get out the door quick. So all I did was take it in the outer, the outer half of my eye and blend it up. I put it in the crease and then I blended it up and blended it in. And to do that, I used the Sonia G Crease Pro. Now I'm gonna go in with Cheetah and I'm gonna use a Sonia G Worker Pro. And I'm just gonna take that on the eyelid. And then that's it. It's almost as quick as a one and done. But it is perfect. You're trying to get out the door quickly. You need to go to, this is like an everyday work look. I will wear this to work. I am going to work today. And this is, I think it's perfect. I'm gonna line my eyes real quick, and I'm gonna use the Luster, Gluster Glide Silk Infused Eyeliner in Slate, and I will throw on some mascara, and this is the Chantecaille Faux Seals Longest Lash, and I will be right back. 
All right, so my mascara and my eyeliner is on, and now I'm just gonna throw on real quickly some lips. I'm not even gonna do lip liner. So I just wanted to kind of show you how quickly this can be done and out the door. And this is the um, lip cheek, and this is in shade Anais. And it's kind of like a, like a lip, I don't know, I want to say like a balm kind of, you know, it's a very hydrating lip color. So I'm working from home. I'm not going anywhere, but I still want to have makeup on. I still will be on Zoom. Um, so... I just wanted to throw on a little bit of something for the lips and then that's it you guys that's how quick and easy that was I my initial thoughts my initial reaction like I said huge fan of this foundation I'm gonna bring you in so you can see how everything looks um, with the rest of my makeup on But I have to say, I'm I'm really impressed with the foundation at this point. I am not going to do an all-day wear test just because we have a really, really busy day at home. So I know myself and I know I won't be able to check in. But I will do a follow-up video, let you know my thoughts on a later video. But so far, highly impressed. And I would, at this point recommend getting it when it does become available or if you need it now calling Bergdorf Goodman in New York so that is all for today that is today's look guys thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe and give me the thumbs up I'd love to hear your comments down below if you've tried this foundation um and what your thoughts are how do you think it compares to the um future skin in the jar. And again, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.